Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham. And Coloradans were watching Election Day results to see who would win. Well, the nation was watching to see how the voting process would go. After long lines and election mishaps around the country, all eyes were on our mail-in balloting system. Today, the Colorado Secretary of State is calling Election Day an overwhelming success. And the New York Times wrote, quote, Colorado offers a model for voting smoothly in a pandemic. Our Connor McHugh talked to a former Denver election official who helped launch Vote by Mail. Connor, what does she make of all the praise rolling in? Well, Jim, she doesn't just call it the gold standard here in Colorado. She actually calls it the platinum standard. And she says that's because vote by mail is not only safe, but it is accessible for voters. She says heading into November, many other states and cities can learn from us, and we even have some room to improve. I was the director of elections uh, in Denver from 2011 to 2018. Seven years ago, Amber McReynolds helped design Colorado's vote by mail system. And now she heads the National Vote at Home Institute. This isn't a partisan issue. It is simply about who votes. She calls Colorado's system the national standard. And yesterday, it was put to the test again. Uh, Colorado was able to excel. And it's really, frankly, an, a, an example again on the national stage of what can be done in a pandemic to ensure all voters can vote in a safe and secure way. Unlike other states which had issues with in-person voting, Colorado election officials reported no major problems Tuesday. Instead, voter turnout was higher than the 2018 primary, with more than 99% of people voting by mail or drop-off box. We have really figured out a solution that encourages engagement, encourages turnout, uh, encourages voting. McReynolds says Colorado's success counters recent claims by President Trump and others that voting by mail leads to fraud. We don't see this wide scale fraud that the president has claimed and others have claimed. And primarily that's because we've built a system that not only values voters, but also values security. Still, Colorado can improve. McReynolds points to one day providing voters with postage or accepting postmarks. We in Colorado put voters first seven years ago, and we've continued to build on that. Now, McReynolds says every year election officials from all over the country come to Colorado on Election Day to observe and learn lessons that they can bring back to their cities and states. Yesterday, she hosted election officials from Philadelphia and Champaign County, Illinois. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.